we are back it's day 69 and these things grow as slow as molasses you know it just still looks like three blades of grass and there's one plant a fourth plant that's more atypical as you can see and it just has this curly leaf here i don't know what the deal is with that you know it has two leaves and one that's just broad and curly so uh there's not that much to comment on other than the fact that I put, you know, a layer of sand and diatomaceous earth. Maybe it's just 5% diatomaceous earth by weight, a pinch, you know, 5 to 10% at most. And basically, this seems to have solved my fungus gnat problem. I haven't seen any fungus gnats. And it's been maybe three weeks since I last watered. So, um, yeah, it's been a while, but... Uh, this is a desert succulent, a, a yucca, so I think it should be very drought tolerant and maybe it's even bad to overwater. You know, this uh, potting mix that contains a lot of wood chips stays hydrated forever and ever, although I'm not too sure if that's the case in a small pot like this. Maybe it's the case in my ginger pots, but, you know... Um, I think this thing should do fine without water. For something that grows so slow and has so little leaf mass, uh, it really doesn't make sense to keep watering and risk getting root rot. Uh, 